Assalamu alaikum. Today we will talk about reflection and refraction of light. So light as a wave motion undergoes reflection and refraction. But uh, light as an electromagnetic wave, it can travel through space. It doesn't need a medium to propagate through. So, when light falls on a surface, And this surface has a depth. Let's say that this is water. So, reflection happens to the light. Refraction and some of the light is absorbed. Reflection happens so that we can see the medium. And um, refraction occurs because the speed of light in in space is the highest so when it enters another medium its speed decreases and it refracts near to the medium and some of the light is absorbed in order to give the medium its color so the same colors of the light beam are absorbed and the rest of the light spectra is reflected so that we can see the medium. So light is reflected like that so that the angle of incidence, the angle which the light ray makes with the horizontal surface of the medium equals the angle of reflection. The angle which uh, the reflected ray makes with the uh, horizontal surface of the medium. Also, here in light refraction, the ratio between the velocity of light in the first medium over the, rate, over the velocity of light in the second medium equals sine the angle of incidence over the angle of refraction. So, this is um, how light reflects and refracts. We can see this clearly when you are sitting in front of this, uh, the screen of the computer. When it's black, when it's turned off, you can see yourself clearly in, in the screen. Because the screen is black, so the light falls on your face and then it's reflected so then it falls on the screen the, sc the screen is black so it absorbs all the light and no light matches the black so it's all reflected back and so you can see your image clearly but when the screen is lit up and you have a lot of colors in the background or you're working with something you cannot see yourself as clear as when the screen was black because when the reflected light from your face falls on the screen uh, the screen absorbs the amount of light uh, equivalent to the amount of colors which are found at that time so a lot of colors are absorbed and not reflected and just a little bit of color is reflected back so you cannot see your image clearly now this is the rule of light refraction. We have to know that uh, as light travels in space, it has a constant velocity. This velocity equals 3 times 10 of power 8 meters per second. And since this speed is constant, we refer to as C. So, here, in this relation, if we are comparing um, the velocity of light in space to the velocity of light in any other medium, we would say C over V equals sine phi over sine lambda or sine whatever, sine of the uh, angle of refraction here. This ratio is called 
n. It's called the absolute refractive index. The absolute refractive index is the ratio between the speed of light in space, which is a constant, 3 times 10 to the power 8 meters per second, over the speed of light in this medium. Alright. This absolute refractive index is always higher than 1 because the velocity of light in space is the highest speed of light. So, whatever medium the light enters through, it's uh, more dense. And that's why the light refracts near to the medium. Its velocity decreases. And when you divide a, uh, two quantities, and, w and the numerator is higher than the denominator, of course, the result will be higher than 1. That's why the refractive index is higher than 1. For example, the refractive index of water is uh, 1.33. The refractive index of air is about 1.0029. And uh, the refractive index of diamond is about 2.4. So uh, this is the absolute refractive index. So as as from here, we can say N equals C over V. From this relation, we can say that the velocity of light in a certain medium equals the velocity of light in space over the absolute refractive index. And from that, we conclude that the velocity of light in a certain medium is um, inversely proportional with N. So we can... Uh, say that the relation between V1 over V2 between two mediums, different mediums, equals N2 over N1 because they are inversely proportional. This is from V1 would equal C over N1 and V2 equals C over N2. And since C is a constant, we can eliminate the C when we make the ratio between V1 and V2. So the ratio between V1 and V2 would equal to N2 over N1. And as V1 over V2 already equals time sine the angle of incidence over sine the angle of refraction we can finally say that the quotient of the multiplication of the absolute refractive index of a medium with the uh, side of the angle of incidence of light in that medium equals the absolute refractive index of the second medium multiplied by sine the angle of refraction of light in that medium. This law is called Snell's law. So this is it for today and uh, finally we can say that using the absolute refractive index and the different wavelengths of colors because the light beam appears to be white but it contains a variety of light spectrum and the different colors of light is a result of the different wavelengths so if light and light enters a prism it's um, analyzed into a group of lights and this is a use of reflection and refraction of light we can analyze the white beam of light into the group of colors is composed of. And this is it for today. The next time we will talk about the interference of light.
And until then, I thank you for watching again. See you. Assalamu alaikum.